Well, uh, Brendan, uh, the Goose Creek United Methodist Church is actually in, in about an hour, about two hours from now, uh, they're going to be opening up as a warming center, a shelter here for Berkeley County. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. If you need a place tonight to stay warm, you can do that right here. And we're here on Red Bank Road. This is the Methodist Church on Red Bank Road in Goose Creek. Now, I talked earlier with a woman uh, here in Berkeley County who was telling me that her and her husband are doing what they can to try to prepare for this cold weather. I don't want it to come and mess my flowers up. <laughs> But I'm trying to prepare to keep some of them alive. I've already put lights on, um, so I'm hoping that'll give it some heat, and then I may put some plastic over top of them um, and just hope they make it. <laughs> they are also preparing little containers with carpets in them for some feral cats that live outside. And they're flushing water out and replacing it with antifreeze in their camper. The yeah. first year we got it, we didn't do anything, and it, the, the temperature got down freezing just one night, and we're like, it's fine. We had busted water pipes. Over at Lowe's in Goose Creek, lots of folks are preparing. Coming in, getting a lot of uh, faucet protectors and faucet covers. We got two or three different styles of those. In addition to making sure their pipes are wrapped nice and well, uh, different people coming in and the insulation that we have, buying those types of products, and then the different heaters that we have. We have indoor heaters, which a lot of people use inside the house. You certainly want to be safe when you do that. And then some of the outdoor heaters that would hook up to a propane tank, something like that. But we always see an increase in traffic as our customers come in when the weather changes, but we've got what we need here for them. So we're, we've got inventory available and more coming too.